Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today we will work on um, yeah, our animation for the character and we will do the same like the third person character. So let's go into the mannequin animations and let's see here the idle run. Here I got a small tip for you. So um, if you have here a horizontal axing X which um, cannot be uh, yeah, set it up, you can just open it up here and change here all the things you want to have. Uh, this is new since 4.15 I think and a lot of people have problems to find this setting again. So it's just here on the side and you can access it here through this setting. So very simple. Uh, what we want to do now is uh, we want actually to have the idle, the run and the walk animations. And for this we go to the Mixamo website and go to store and then click on animations and we search now for the idle. So here we have a small idle and it should be on your character. If not, just change it to the um, recently used character. So um, here for you uh, should stand that um, add to asset because I had also uh, added it in the, uh, in the past. It uh, shows here view or download. So click here on view or download or add to assets and then you can see it's added to your assets. What we want to do here now is click on Q download, click on FBX, we don't want the skin and we just click on Q for download. So here's our first animation, click on download and we save this to our views folder on the desktop. Let's create a new folder in there for animations and save it into there. So uh, next up go to the animations again. Uh, here you can see my animations. I will just delete them all and you should go to the store again, click on animations and then click on walk or search for walk. Um, if you hover over the text you can see a small description. So you can just do it like I do here. Harry walk, just um, search for normal walk. They are all a bit uh, yeah, weird. But um, I think I take the swagger walk here. The, and here you can now see add to my asset and let's click on it. And it's successfully added to our asset. What we can do now is just add run to our assets. So um, run, actually not run, run link um, will lead to a better running animations. So here on the, this one, now again, here's view or download, click on view download. And um, under my animations, we can actually see which one are there. And here's our running one, make sure you click on in place for it and actually this one is a bit too fast. Make this to 30 and Q for download without the skin. We Q for download, click on download and it should be yeah into our folder. And don't forget the walking, so click on the walking here, also in place and click on without skin and then queue it. Let's download this one also and here we are. As I mentioned in the last video, um, we can't just implement this now into Unreal Engine because they are missing the armature bone. To actually fix this we just simply go to Blender and open it. We delete here all this stuff and we import the FBX. So click on uh, the animations folder which is in the fuse folder, click on the idle and then all we have to do is just export it into a new folder. So go to the fuse folder into blender export and just call this idle.fbx. Then delete it, import the next one which is still working and just export it because now it has the armature bone added to it. So walk and 
place. And delete this one, import again the running one. And let's actually export this now to the run in place. Run in place, FBX. And that's simply all we have to do. So now we go back into the Unreal Engine, into our Fuse folder. Let's create a new one here for Anim. And we want to import now all the three animations. So I did this a lot of times now, and I know uh, that over this method um, the character is not rotated correctly. So what I do here is um, I add the base rotation 90 to it, because uh, if I don't do it, uh, my animation will lie on the ground. And so I add 90 to it so they can stand. And we need to make sure that the male skeleton is selected and they are assigned to the male skeleton. So I import it now. So for me, um, this works good. And yeah, we have here some more animations. So a run in place is here three times. So let's open this one only is the idle, so delete this. Then let's check run in place, which is actually not run in place because it's walk in place. So this is a bug from Blender because we edit it here all the time, it just implements all the animations to it. So you can also delete the run in place. And we only need this one here. And for the walk in place we can also delete the idle. So we have only these three animations. So for me, um, this importing with a uh, rotation of 90 uh, was because my animation is located on the X here. So if I didn't uh, have this 90 rotation here, it will be just, um, yeah, now it's just uh, not working correctly. But if you, if I hadn't do this, um, my character actually let me show you this. Um, not the spine, I need the root bone here. My character will be like this. And so I just imported the animation with 90 degrees. So if you have these problems that your character is something uh, wrong, just play with this import values to uh, bring him to normal. So um, yeah, that's actually what I wanted to show you. And um, the next step here would be to create um, an animation blueprint from the male skeleton. So uh, click here on the male skeleton and on the anim instance, these two, and click on OK and click just yeah, leave it as it is. And we also need a uh, blend space 1D and also based on the male skeleton. So inside here we will just do it same like the third person. This one should be called speed now and the maximum should be 375 and that's it. We pull in the idle, we pull in the run at, uh, at 375 let me see, this is third person walk, press shift. Okay, this is just a um, preview uh, slider, so we just need here to have the um, walk in place, like this. So now if we press shift here, we can actually see how he is moving. So very simple. Uh, we are ready with our idle here. Um, let's go into the third person animation blueprint, which we will also just copy over. So, and open our new animation blueprint. So, let's go into the anim graph here. So, um, here we are in jump start to loop. We click on anim graph and we can see we have a default state machine. We can just copy this and paste it into here. Uh, we just put it in, then we go into uh, the idle run and we don't have this jump so we delete it and we go into the third person idle, delete it and pull our blend space into it. 
So very simple, we compile this and yeah, just create this variable here and let's go into the event graph. Also from here, we will just copy the stuff over and just pull it in here, get this and that's it. Compile it. Oh, is an error. It's something from the jump, so we will just leave it in, but it will not be used. So let's see, the target has no connection. Speed again. So maybe this is a bug here. Yeah, just compile again, pull it in again, and then it should work. So all we have to do now is just delete here the uh, male basic one. And let's go to our uh, third person blueprint here. Open the character up. Go into viewport. Click on the uh, mesh here. And let's replace it with our male one. Then click on the animation class, which will be our new animation blueprint. You can see, look here for the bottom. It's a bit down there. Let's check this when we play. Yeah, it should be. A little bit more down so actually um, let's re uh, size the capsule here to 90 it's okay I think and this one we can bring this up let's see here this is okay I think I know he's a bit high so bring him down 97 is too much let's make minus 95 Let's see this. So it's just playing with these values here. 95 is also too much. 93. I bet this is too high now. Oh no, this works perfectly. So yeah, that's how you work with the character. And what we can see now is that the animation show here more of the uh, body beneath the character. So actually, um, what we can do here now is, um, yeah, let me think about this. A fix for this um, would be actually um, yeah, to export the mesh and the clothes uh, separately. And yeah, actually we can do this. Um, so we have some minutes uh, left. So let me do this very quick here. Uh, let's go to Blender and open um, our recent character here, this one. And for example, for the cloth, uh, for the bottom, we can just delete the bottom first. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so here we have the character without the bottom, and we export this FBX as char without bot. This is just for default uh, testing, so um, you can name it like you want. And then I'll press Ctrl Z to bring this back here, and let's delete anything except the bottom. So um, click Shift and mark them all here. And we only have the bottom now, and we can actually export this now jeans without body fpx we export it and now let's make um, a testing folder and inside this testing folder we will first um, get the char without the body at uh, bottom sorry yeah we leave this all as it is uh, or no we can actually pick the male skeleton because it's the same. Yeah, let's do it like this. Uh, delete the animation which comes there in and here's our character without the bottom and let's um, actually get here the right material. So let's get here the hair material and the top 
material and body material like this um, and a new folder called the jeans one and inside this we import our jeans and we also take the mail and let's say uh, we don't want to have animations imported so here's the jeans and for this one we pick the right button one and we save compile this very simple so what we do now is go to our third person character and pick here the char without the uh, button and next up we add a skeletal mesh a new one and uh, we connect it to our mesh and this one will also have the new animation blueprint but here we'll have our genes and this one will be set it to zero here and this one will be set it to zero too compile and save and under the construction script we want to um, set the master bo pay, uh, bone component so master post component this one is uh, this one is the master I think like this was it and the skeletal match is the target let's check this out yeah so this works also so we have here now um, uh, yeah, character with separated genes and body so he can actually change his clothes and that's it for this video so um, yeah we have now the animations here you can see um, this is not quite good and we can actually go to blender and sculpt this all a bit out so um, it's not overlapping there at the bottom what we can see now there so actually uh, let's go into blender so here is our jeans mm, click on it press ctrl and one to get to the back or just uh, go with mouse click to the back go into scope mode and let's just add here a bit of um, yeah, space to it don't need to be uh, very pretty just a bit more here then export this again as FBX and then inside our engine click on reimport on the jeans so what we see now it it is working better so yeah you can go through all of this option to actually make this better but uh, I think this is okay as you can see the arms are a bit weakly there but uh, this is a problem from the animation so if you use another animation this should look much better so yeah that's everything for this tutorial thanks for watching and yeah have a nice day bye